In this video, we're going to learn how to shuffle a string using C. So let's first declare a car array called string, and we'll store into this car array the string A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So what we'll do is randomly rearrange the characters in the string. Because we're going to be using randomization, we're going to include the stdlib.h library where the rand function is defined, which is going to return a random integer. And we'll also include the time.h library, which includes a function called time, which we'll use to seed the random number generator with the current time. And finally, we'll also include the string.h library, which includes the string length function strlen, which we'll use to find the length of the string. So next, we'll seed the random number generator. So C uses what's called pseudo random number generation. What that means is we need to seed the random number generator with a different number each time our program runs in order to ensure the random numbers that the rand function returns could be different each time our program runs. So we'll call the srand function of the stdlib.h library and we'll supply it with that seed value as an argument. Now we're going to say that the current time is going to be different each time our program runs. So we'll supply the srand function with the current time as a seed value. So here we'll call time and we'll pass it null. And the time function is going to return the current time represented as a number. And we'll use that as our seed value. Now to randomly rearrange the characters in a string, let's recall that each character in a string is stored at an index. So for example, uppercase A here is stored at the index zero, uppercase B here is stored at the index one, and so on for the rest of the characters in the string. And the special null terminator character that ends the string is stored at the index nine in this case. Now the length of this string is nine because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine characters. So to randomly rearrange the characters in the string, we could go through each index of the string from zero up until eight. In other words, from zero up until one less than the length. And what we'll do is at each index, we'll swap this character with a character at an index randomly chosen from zero to eight. So maybe in the case of uppercase A here at the index zero, we randomly generate an index from zero to eight, and maybe it's five. And so A would be swapped with uppercase F here. We would then have F here and A over here at the index five. So let's implement this algorithm now. The first thing we'll do is declare variables for the random index and the temporary car variable to help complete the swap. We'll have here int random index is equal to zero for the random index, and we'll have car temp for the temp variable used to help complete the swap. Then we'll find the length of the string using the string length function, and we'll store that into an int type variable called length. So we'll have int length is equal to, and we'll call the string length function strlen, and we'll pass it our string as an argument. And this function is going to return the length of the string, in this case nine. Then we'll create a loop to go through each index of the string using a counter variable. So we'll have four, int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, and i plus plus. So this loop is going to have the counter variable i go from zero by one with each loop iteration until it reaches the index eight, which will be the final loop iteration. Because once i is equal to length, then i will no longer be less than length and the loop is going to stop. So in this loop body here, we're going to first generate a random index from zero up until length minus one. To do this, we'll call the rand function. So when we call the rand function, it's going to return a random integer in the range of zero to some very large positive integer. But what we want is an integer in the range of zero to length minus one. What we can do is take this integer here and divide it by length. And the remainder of that division must be an integer in the range of zero to length minus one. So for example, if we take an integer in the range of zero to some very large positive integer, and divide it by nine, that's going to give us a remainder in the range of zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In other words, the integers in the range of zero to eight. Now C has what's called the modulus operator, where the modulus operator is percent. 
and the modulus operator is going to give us the remainder of a division operation. So here, if we have rand modulus length, this is going to give us an integer in the range of zero to length minus one, which is exactly what we want. We'll store that into the random index variable with random index is equal to rand modulus length. Then down here, we'll actually perform a swap using that random index and the index i. So we'll have that temp is equal to the string at the random index. Then we can safely overwrite the random index with what's at the index i. So we'll have string at the index random index is equal to what's at the index i. Then we'll store at the index i the character that was previously at the index random index, which we put into temp. So that will complete the swap there using the classic swap algorithm. And so this should do it. This should shuffle the characters in the string. Let's print out the string to see that. So down here, we'll have a printf, and we'll have printf with percent %s to output a string, followed by backslash n for newline, and then here we'll output the string. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll see that our string has been shuffled because we now have edbh F -A -I -G -C. Now, one more thing we could do is put this logic inside a function so we could call the function to shuffle strings in different parts of our program. Let's do that. Up here, we'll declare the function. The function is going to have a void return type because the function doesn't need to return anything. We'll call the function shuffle string and the function is going to accept the string itself and the length of the string as function arguments. So for parameters, we'll have car star string for the string itself, or more accurately, the pointer to the string. In other words, the memory address where the string is stored. And then we'll have size underscore t for the length of the string, where we're using size underscore t as the type, because technically the string length function strlen is going to return the length of the string as a size underscore t type value where size underscore t can store potentially larger positive integers than int. Then we'll define the function down here. So we'll copy this and paste it down here, and we'll basically cut and paste our logic into the function. So here we'll have our function definition, and we'll take our logic up here. We'll keep this here where we find the length of the string, and we'll take the rest of it here and cut it, and then paste it into the function body here. Now, one thing we could add is a check to make sure this string pointer here is not null. So we'll have if string is equal to null, that would mean we have a pointer to nothing. In that case, we're going to return to just stop the function in that case, because we can't do anything in that case. Then up here, we could call the function. So we'll call shuffle string, and we'll pass it our string, and the length of the string. And we'll also change this to size underscore t as well. Now, if we save compile and run the program, we'll also get a shuffled string. So this is how we can shuffle a string using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.